Hi folks, how's everybody today? What a, another beautiful, beautiful day in Miami Beach. I'm actually at North Miami Beach right now. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to have my teeth cleaned. Um, yes, I do that quite often. I, I do it twice a year. And I'm gonna tell you, so many people, so many people are oh, always saying to me, Rick, your teeth are fake, aren't they? And the answer is no, they're not fake. They're actually real. And I'm not kidding, they are 100% real. Uh, and the reason they look so good is because I get my teeth cleaned. <laughs> I mean, think about it, it's really common sense. And there's so many people out there. You know, I was just with a friend of mine today and he said to me, he said, where are you going? And I said, oh, I'm gonna get my teeth cleaned. He said, why, your teeth are perfect. I said, the reason they're perfect is because I get my teeth cleaned. So that's not what I wanna to talk to you about today. And the first thing I wanna talk about is, of course, please, please subscribe to my channel or tell your friends to subscribe. I mean, you already have. It's Rick Sykes 305 on YouTube. Please, that's all I'm asking you. What I wanna to talk to you today is about decisions and decision making. You know, it's come to my realization, my thoughts that so many people tell other people their problems, which I do too. I mean, that's the whole idea about having friends, wouldn't you say? I mean, that to me is very important. Have a good friend and they'll tell you uh, how they feel about things and you know, uh, how they can help you. You want that and, uh, and you know that and I know that. But the problem with that is this, you have to say to yourself, am I gonna make my own decision or listen to other people? My thought, my suggestion is make your own decision. Reason being, nobody really knows everything about you. You can tell people about yourself and whatever else, but they really don't know the true meaning of you, you the person. Uh, case in point, I mean, look at, if you want to go out and buy a new car, uh, you'll tell your friends, hey, I'm into a new car, what do you think I should get? Well, you're gonna to tend to talk to 10 people, and you're gonna get 10 different ideas. I mean, that makes sense, think about it. It really makes sense. But people don't know what you plan to do with this car. Do you plan on bringing people with you? Do you want, just want a two-seater? Do you want a convertible? Do you want a hard top? What do you like? I mean, me personally, I like two-seaters and I like convertibles. That's what I own, a bunch of those. Why? Because I like those. When people say to me all the time, they say, why don't you get a real car? Get a, get a, you know, a big Mercedes or something like that. I don't like those cars. I mean, they don't do anything for me. I sit there and listen to friends of mine who talk about them, and that's true, I do. I mean, I will listen to them. Do I agree with it? Well, for me, no. I mean, you know, I mean, here, give an example. Look, here's a Rolls Royce passing right now, convertible. Yeah, it's a beautiful car. Can I afford one? Yes, no problem. Do I want one? Not at all. Doesn't do a thing for me. So all I'm trying to tell you is this, that when it comes to decisions, listen to your friends, let it go in your brain, and don't make a decision on what they think you should do. That's what I'm really trying to tell you. And that goes with everything. It goes with your health. You know, if if uh, if you're not feeling well, you say to someone, should I do this, should I do that? You know what, call a professional, okay? Call a doctor. No, I'm not saying anything's wrong with me, I'm fine. But I mean, every time I talk to you folks, you think, oh, it's gotta be that I'm talking about me. No, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about a generalization. And I mean that, I'm just generalizing. So keep that in mind, what I'm talking about. And it's the same thing, just with anything. It's like, um, besides cars and health, it, it could be just your outlook on life, all right? Your outlook on life should be, it should be beautiful. I mean, look at this. If you're in a beautiful, gorgeous day like I am today, of course you appreciate it. If you're sitting there in the snow, you can appreciate that too. Um, just appreciate that you're here. You know what I'm saying? I hope you do, and I'm sure you do. Listen, you know, as always, thanks so much for listening to me. And, um, you know, I know I talk a lot, but I have a lot to say. And, you know, I've got the years of experience. So when you need something, if you got a question, don't hesitate to ask, because I will be glad to help you. You know, you can always reach me, Rick Sykes, 305. Have a great day, everybody.